Yo, Internet, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Recap Corner. And today we are talking about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And a little news for everybody Kira is a fucking psychopath. And true to, and true to his word, if you try to fuck up his happiness, he will kill you. I mean, again, he just murdered Hay um, uh, Hayato early on in, in the episode because he kind of was being an asshole and not necessarily learning. Well, stop fucking with, um, stop fucking with Kira or else he'll fucking murder you. So that's pretty interesting. Also on, uh, also on top of that, you know, like, Kira actually kind of goes through a lot of emotions in this episode. Early, like, you can actually see him when he's dis um, uh, distressed and, and everything. Sort of like him biting his nails and him almost like getting caught, caught, caught and shit. Which kind of makes you realize that, like, the, like, um, Yoshihiro and his wife, they were doing some crazy, like, they literally just let Kira do whatever the fuck they wanted. And I can understand, like, and I, I believe I, I believe that I've said this before, is that once your son starts doing shit like son or daughter, once they start murdering people, like, say, just like that, it's best to just sort of, it's either put them in a fucking fucking asylum or report them. You got to do something about that shit. But but his parents they didn't do that shit. And now and now he's a grown ass man out there just trying man say doing what he claims as living a peaceful a peaceful life, murdering all of these kids and or all these women and shit. And is ba and will do basically anything to kind of cover his tracks. And and I will give it to, to this episode because it actually does kind of um, it kind of it kind of does say something about the arrow because again uh, the bigger question is always why does everybody have have the stand that that they have essentially and and the question always came up that the reason why bite the um or or at, or at the very least killer queen has the ability it has is because Kira is a serial killer. And he doesn't want there to be any evidence uh, left behind. So basically, his, his stand it doesn't only explode things; it disintegrates them, and there's nothing left. So basically, he he destroys every physical asset there is. So there's nothing left. So you can understand that. But then you also look at the fact that that uh, he does have this brand new ability, which is called bite 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 the dust, and. Basically, how does this ability work? Well, or at least how did it come to fruition? Because again, the ability in which that it has now, because now, like we already know how the how this episode is going. Like if you understand the the ability he has, which is it's a bomb that that uh, he that he implants in people who know who know information about him, and if they ever reveal that information, they say them and people around them explode, and then the day resets. So that's sort of how this goes, you know, or at least like if they know his name or if they know like his true identity, then you just blow the fuck up and then you reset the day. That's sort of how that is, you know, and honestly, the more interesting reason as to why like he has that ability is because again, if I can only go back and do some, or at least like I need a countermeasure to stop this person from telling, or if I can go back in time and stop them somehow. That way of thinking most likely may bite may bite the dust's ability actually come to come to fruition. Because again, of course, Rohan Rohan he does actually use Heaven's Door to sort of say, okay, well now he doesn't speak it. So maybe I can get it that way. No, still blows you the fuck up. Same thing if you wrote down, say same thing if Hayato wrote, uh, if, if he wrote down Kira's name, or basically if he told anybody about it, or if he so much as even passingly do, does something about it, well, you're going to die. That's just how it is. And it's a very interesting ability, and also it's a very interesting countermeasure. But that's mostly what I have to say about that, because again, it's a very difficult ability to beat, but but I'm pretty sure that they do find a way around it because I'm getting the feeling that this will, now that we have reached reached this part in the story, it seems like that we're almost at the end of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure season four, or at the very least, Diamond is Unbreakable. So 
So the next few things is that, well, now we got to find a way to be bite, bite the dust. So till then, that is what I got to say about that. I'll see you on the next John Grave show. Keep watching anime, keep playing video games. This has to be Recap Corner. I'm out. Hello, Internet. How's it going? I've already done a, re done a review of this with Deshaun Arsho upon his channel. Um, and, of course, I kind of wanted to drop a few. I kind of need my own channel sort of review of that because if I don't, I'm going to forget numbers and shit. So, what happened in episode 33 of Twin Star Exorcist? Uh, from what I understand, these episodes are slowly starting to kind of focus more on the on the 12 guardians or should I say the or should I say the 11 guardians because again um like we kind of get a little bit of story going on with that 